Good luck, little lies. Welcome to Paul and Mick. Nice to have you with us. Okay. Just come from the studio. Yep. Thank you very much for coming in. I know you're very busy. How's it all going? Quite well. Quite a lot of hard yeah. work, you know. Yeah. Do you enjoy being in the studio? Not today, we didn't. No. <laughs> Why? What's been going on down there? <laughs> no, it's just you know. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it it's must be comes so hard. tiring to have to sort of listen at, over and over again to the same thing and perfect it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> I think they're taking up something else now. So, uh, when's it out? It's due out? April. In April, great. Yeah, I said, April, my, May. I adored your last album, The Favourite Shop. Now, that was, I believe, about a shop in Amsterdam, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, but it wasn't the last album. No, the uh, album. <laughs> the album, Our Favourite Shop. That was about uh, the shop in Amsterdam, yeah? Yes, it was. About the beehive. Yeah, but, yeah by, we can't really Bein pronounce it. Beinkorf. Beinkorf, yeah. I yeah. That's how they pronounce it, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're going to um, have a look at Long Hot Summer in a moment. First of all, we do though, tell me, can you tell us a bit about the Wedge, uh, Red Wedge? Because for our European viewers, the um, organisation there, what, what you actually do and... I'm not sure anymore, after seeing a documentary last night on Channel 4. I didn't see that, tell us about that. It was um, called The 11th Hour and it was called The People's Flag. Right. It was about the history of the Labour Party. Mm. And the Wedge is basically affiliated with the Labour Party. And it's more really of an anti-Tory movement amongst artists and different musicians and different people. But um, I'm not sure about our affiliation with any, or, you know, when I say ours, I mean the Style Councils or mine, I'm not sure if, I know I feel it towards the Labour Party really or any parliamentary party anymore, so. You don't? I can't tell you too much about it. No. So you, what about you, Mick? I mean, there are other bands, people like the Blow Monkeys, I believe, are involved as well. Yeah. I mean, I think it started out as a good thing. It's a lot of like-minded people. I think it started out a very good thing. But yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, um, it's not really the same old faces, but a lot of the people involved we've been connected with prior to the existence of Red Wedge at kind of C&D things, and not just C&D things, you know, a broad kind of uh, left sort of feeling, I suppose. Right. And. Um, I don't think we've done particularly any more being part of Red Wedge than we had done prior as uh, ourselves, just being the Style Council. Right. We used to do little bits and pieces. And charity gigs and stuff. Well, yeah, yeah but things that, like, that went unsaid, you know, that uh, we weren't really mm. trying to get publicity for. No. When you become part of a larger body... Surely it's good to get publicity, though, because it, I mean, it encourages people to come along and, and find out more about it. It depends, and yeah. But you can do things... You know, small things without having to uh, see your face That's plastered right. in some magazine. But it's know. nice to use it, I mean, obviously. Yeah, the danger yeah. is it becomes a bit tokenistic after a while, yeah. especially when you see the same faces mm. as well. So to get some more bands involved in. Well, you know, yeah. they're out there. <laughs> Let's have uh, Long Hot Summer now. This is the Style Council. They're with us today. Long Hot Summer, the Style Council, and we've got Paul and Mick here. Uh, did you enjoy making that? Yeah, it was good. It's yeah. down in Cambridge, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Do, do you actually like making videos in general? No. No. <laughs> you enjoyed that one? That was a bit easier because that was only our third single. After a while, you you know. What don't you enjoy about it? What? Just all the hanging about. I mean, that was a different theme because it was a nice day and we was out in the sunshine mm, and we were being there. punted around by right. people. <laughs> but if you're hanging about in the studio all day, it's not hard work, it's just boring. That's a Do you think they're important though? Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah, because you can't get to every TV yeah. show, you know. Do you, I mean, do you have much say in the production and direction of it? Yeah. Storyboards? More so with recent years, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I mean, in, in the first year, we didn't used to uh, like storyboards very much. I mean, a kind of plot evolved during the day. We used to just think of a sort of location or a kind of... Uh, some sort of disguise for ourselves or something and then just see what came out of that. How do you find the acting? Because I talked to Pete Wiley recently about it and he said, oh, he hates making these videos where you've got to put the cup here and then you've got to move here and then you've got to, you know, he, he just wants it very natural and, you know, with the band, etc. I mean, and he says maybe, like, music musicians just shouldn't act and, you know, actors shouldn't play yeah. or whatever. Do, what do you think of that? Well, I agree with that from my, my own point of view, yeah. just because I'm hopeless at it, but <laughs> if you're good at it, I guess it's okay. Yeah. A lot of bands that make it and make a lot of money successful, for instance, people like Sade, tend to leave the country because of uh, the taxes, but you've, you've always stayed here and paid those taxes. They've made enough money to leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Wanted's coming up next. So, this is, is this gonna, you're going to put this out on the new album? 
I don't think it'd be on the new LP, no. It should be a separate single. Okay, we're going to have a look at it. On Supersonic now, Star Council, here it is. One, two, three. It didn't matter, I'm Star Council. Now, you must have enjoyed making that one, boys. That looked like good fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was. It was. <laughs> it was even on the second go. I, I understand it's part of a film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, it's correct. Part of a half-hour film called Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which we made last year, which yeah. hasn't been shown on TV yet. Yeah. It's only out on video, but we ho hopefully we'll try and sell it to, to some TV companies. Right. <laughs> and you've worked with directors like that before, have you? Yep, quite yeah. a few times. Let's um, let's move on to Nick here, Nick Grant. No, You're not like those move, directors. Move no, I hope not, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think it's more commercial directors who are right. like that. <laughs> So it's good to have you with us. Now, I understand, congratulations, you've just been nominated for the uh, Billboard magazine um, experimental video for XTC's yeah, um, Dear God. That's right, best video, best concept, and best experimental video, oh. which I find a bit odd for experimental. You've done quite a few vids, haven't you? You've uh, um, Disney, Tim Finn, I realize. Cutting Crew, David yeah. Tilby, and Loose Ends. Yeah. Which Cutting Crew did you do? The very first one, Died in Your Arms, the English version. That's such a lovely song as well. Did you, do you have to like the music and the band to work with them? Right? Yeah, I mean, it helps quite a lot, especially with things like XTC, I really like them, and the song actually means something. So you'll, you'll make the film that much better because you sort of, sounds really pretentious, but you believe in it. Right. And so you wouldn't do somebody if you thought they were really naff? You, uh, no. Even though they were very I was successful? Asked to do, I was asked to do last year um, Boris Gardner, that one that was a number one hit for about eight weeks, <laughs> and I turned it I down. I want to wake up, that one? Yeah. And Vile. It would be my <laughs> biggest hit, but I turned it down. And you don't regret it? Not in the slightest. What have you got planned for the future? I mean, video-wise, anything coming up? Um, there's very little happening up until Christmas, but then we've got lots happening in the new year. Nice if you win this, this billboard thing, though, because be that great. will put your name around a bit. Yeah. Great. Well, uh, we're going to have a look at the XTC video. It's uh, Dear God, and it said it's been nominated for that award. Nice. Dear God, XTC. I hope you win the award with that. Thank you. He's great fun to work with, Andy Partridge. Andy, yeah, he's he? great. I did a cookery program with him once for my sins. He makes brilliant cheesecake. <laughs> So, was it expensive to make? That? Well, I, I mean, it's not expensive in video director's terms. It was like, it was £20,000. Oh. But, of course, that might seem hell of a lot to yeah. lots of other because people. Because the guys were saying earlier that the, the wanted video was, what, about £10,000 it cost you, yeah? I mean, Which, in today's terms, is just like absolutely nothing. No. I mean, that, but you obviously don't feel it's important as long as it looks good, doesn't look too cheap. Yeah, it's yeah. just ridiculous amounts of money being spent mm -hmm. on videos on a three minute piece of film, which you're lucky to get shown. Lucky, lucky if they show 50 seconds of right. it, a minute and a yeah. half, if you know, at the very most. Right, I mean, things like Michael Jackson. I mean, would you like the budget they've got for Michael Jackson's well, videos? Well, obviously, it would be a total dream to have a budget like that. Yeah. But at the same time, it is a bit sort of morally suspect. Yeah. Um, having that much money, I suppose. But I mean, it would be just the most wonderful toy. You're yeah. just given a a toy to play with. Mm. Do you, I mean, how do you find people, um, do you, do you, like artists, like the, the musicians, I mean, do they want a lot of creative control? Do you let them have that or do you... It really depends on, on the bands that you work with. Um, I th usually the bands who have been around much longer, like David Sylvian, mm. um, they want a, a lot of control. Mm. Whereas the new bands, they haven't been in it around enough to sort of just ha have any particular ideas. They're just it's the, the music that comes first. So, I mean, it varies, but usually it's the, um, the new bands who let you really do what you want. Mm, that's good for you? Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, great. We've got uh, the Michael Dizier video coming up now. You did this as well? Yes. Yeah? It's Town to Town, directed by Nick Brandt. Town to Town, directed by Nick Brandt here. Well, how did you actually do that, that effect behind you? Uh, we built an entire Perspex studio on the back of a lorry and just drove around wow. Woolwich. Is that your it. idea? Uh, me and somebody I work with. Very novel. It's really nice. We've got to say goodbye to the boys here. Thank you very much for coming in. Got a couple of dates coming up in London, I believe, soon. Yep. And that's the last of it for a while because you've been quite busy this year. Yeah, we're retiring after that. <laughs> right, do you want to sign the book for me, please? That's our star yeah. book. And uh, see that? Brilliant. We've got Nina Simone coming up next. Now, um, she recorded the song My Baby 57 years ago. It was actually written 57 years ago. She it was recorded 30 years ago. It's been released four times. How do you feel about them re-releasing and re-releasing these songs? What do you think? Well, it's a bit sad in a way because they're all great songs, but it just shows there's such a lack of good songs around at the moment, I guess. Yeah, that's right. She was involved in that with uh, Martin Luther King quite heavily, wasn't she? This oh, movement. Yes, yeah, she was. You like this video, don't you, as well? Oh, I think the song's absolutely wonderful.
wonderful. It's one of my favourite ever songs, and I think the video is great you as like well. You like the video? I Have really you seen like this it, video, yeah. you two? Has I it think. got a cat in it? Yeah. I saw a little bit of it. Yeah. Plasticine again. Great. Well, thank you very much. I'll tell you what, come back and see me when the album comes out. Right. Look forward to that, and uh, it's been nice to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, Pleasure. Nina Simone coming up now. This is my baby. Just cares for me.